Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Hub. So today I have come with a new if else question programming that is which is based on electricity bill. Okay, so with the help of if else we are going to calculate the amount of bill to be paid depend upon the number of unit consumed by the customer. So if the unit lies between from 1 to 100, the rate of charge per unit will be 5. If it is from 101 to 2000, then it will be 200, sorry, it will be rupees 7. If it is lies between 201 to 300, it will be 10. And above 300, if it is above 300, it will be 15 rupees per unit. Okay, so we have to design this. We have to design a code for this following chart. So for electricity billing system, let me tell you that if user consume 95, that means he has to pay 95. Okay. What he has to he has to pay 95 along with what along with this charge this should be what multiplied fine this should be what what it should be done this should be multiplied and whatever will be the result that will be the charge for 95 but if the user consume let's say he consume 120 if we consume 120 then what will be the charge how the charge will be going to be calculated for this for this the charges we cannot take all this amount means we cannot write like this that if it is lies between 120 then 120 into 7 no this is wrong because he is consuming since it is lies between this amount to this amount that means he is consuming what 20 rest will be coming from here okay rest will be coming from here if it is not clear let me tell you the show you the explanation of this code then it will be much more clear okay 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 fine let me show you the explanation let me if the unit consumed is less than or equal to 100 the amount which he is going to pay is unit into 5 okay fine which is I have said earlier okay if the unit consumed between this from 100 to 200 the total amount he is going to be pay he is going to pay is that the previous charges along with that means it is above along with what along with this unit that means this amount is going to pay for it that is if lies between say 120 if, if the amount is 120 then he is going to pay 7 uh, that is uh, this one first this one is going to pay all this amount along with that his unit is going to be subtracted and then it is multiplied with the rate have a look previous amount is going to pay that is previous okay that is consumed in this is consumed if it is lies between 100 and if it is 120 have a look 120 subtracted with what 100 okay we are subtracting what will be whatever will be the result in this that will be multiplied with the charge okay so this is a charge for it let me show you 7 rupees is the charge here is the charge for it fine okay if it is the unit lies between from this range that means all total he is going to pay 
from 1 to 20 or 200 along with the extra unit which lies between this. Let me show you that also. Let me show you. Here is a rule. Have a look. So, 100 into 5. Again, what he is doing? 100 into 5, 100 into 7 because you can see the difference. That is, there is a difference between 100 unit, then again 100 unit. That means 200 unit. Along with that, what he has to pay? 100, 100 he is paying. 100 into 5 plus 100 into 7 plus what? Suppose he is charging suppose his unit is 250 then that 250 must be what subtracted that unit must be subtracted right so it is going to be subtracted with whom let me show you that also that is subtracted by the previous one previous unit that is 200 so it is subtracted by the previous unit that is 200 into 10 fine now let me show you the last case if it is above 300 that means the unit is above 300 then we will be doing 100 what we will do we will doing 100 into 5 again is the difference between 100 into 7 that will all will be plus okay fine it will all will be plus we are going to plus it all then 100 into 10 that is now unit minus 300 okay that should be done this particular thing will be done into what 15 right so this is the logic for this one so this is the logic for this code that is, is not going to be no additional charge. So he is not going to pay any no additional charge for it. Okay, fine. Let me run this particular code. Okay, then it will be easier for you. Let me write this code for this. Let me write this code for this. Then it will be easier for you. We write a class. What class you can give? Let me see. Okay. okay, anything you can give, no issue with that. And through all, since we will be using scanner, okay, as you know, all scanner class select right. main string arcs okay let me show you one again once again what we have to input basically that must be clear that is the user is going to provide unit upon that the amount is going to be calculated okay upon this rate okay so unit is provided by whom that basically this is provided by the user okay the unit is going to be provided by the user so you i'm making it you and the amount is also be going to amount amount is going to be calculated okay that is true this is zero scanner let's see post to new scanner hope so scanner why you are using this clear to you all Scanner we have input now. We will ask the user to prompt to enter the unit. What unit is going to be entering? Enter the units. Okay. Enter the units. Is going to enter the units. Let me. Okay. Unit is being stored in you. Okay. After that, what we have to do? We have to 
check the condition for everyone okay we have to what we have to do if what was the con let me show you this okay this is all about if it is lies between from 1 to 100 that means yes to that is the unit consume is less than 100 so he is going to pay amount for what amount what will be the amount basically amount will be what unit that particular unit into charge what is the charge for this particular case what was the charge this is a charge 5 rupees okay this is a 5 rupees this is a charge for this five. fine and let me print over here Also, let me print over here. Well, amount is equal to what? Amount. Okay. This amount you will be getting. Okay, that is unit plus charge. Okay, fine. Else if. What will be? What is the next condition for it? It is lies between 100, 1 to 200. That means what? You can write like this the unit is greater than or equal to what 101 and the unit is less than or equal to what 200 so amount will be what I have already explained this one so what will be the amount he is going to pay he is going to pay the previous one that is previous that is 100 this 100 previous is going to pay along this is the charge for it okay plus plus what current unit which is lying between this minus minus what 100 right 100 into let me show you the charge again 7 rupees is the charge so is going to get 7 fine and dot out dot print ln will amount ok this amount is going to pay for it now else if the unit is less than or equal to 201 and the unit is less than or equal to 300 then what will be the amount so amount will be all total this one ok let me copy this one this particular one. amount will be this plus what 200 into that particular charge plus let me copy this one it will be unit minus 200 into a corresponding charge for it that is 10 hope so you are getting all these things ok so side by side you can do the coding also along with me so that it will be clear for you so this is very important question for ICC ok not for ICC it's for everyone else that means what it is above so if it is above that means what let me copy this entire code and let me it means it is above right or above what what we can do is basically yes you do above only okay so that it will it is the corresponding will be calculated okay one more is left i think lies between this and this and above okay three condition we have done one two three okay else it will be in the else part fine all the code is good okay let me remove this portion it will be 300 plus unit minus what we have to do 300 make sure that into charge what charge is going to pay for it that is 15 rupees okay our code is ready okay let me close all these things and let me see whether we are getting any bug or not let me compile it 
ओके नो सिंटैक्स एरर नो बग मीन एग्जीक्यूट ओके लेट मी टू लेट मी राइट टू फिफ्टी ओके फॉर टू फिफ्टी मिनट ही इज गोइंग टू पे दिस अमाउंट ऑफ इट होप सो दिस कोड इज क्लियर टू यू so i hope this code is very much clear to you and if any problem then you can ask me in the comment section i am going to explain you again and this code i will be attaching in the blog so that you can get this code or in google drive i will be attaching this one so that you can easily get and please do subscribe my channel so that you will be getting more and more code related questions based on ifs so thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel